With the general election a mere 15 days away, today was the turn of the Conservative Party to bring out the heavyweights. First up was Mayor of London Boris Johnson on a whirlwind tour of Ramsgate to support Craig McKinley's bid for South Thanet. Second in line, though, was decidedly more rock star. <laughs> guitarist was at Bradfield's Academy in Walderslade, adding his backing to Tracy Crouch's campaign. However, there is a twist. Brian May isn't a Tory. Common decency is about trying to get a more decent House of Commons, and I do believe it needs doing. I believe we need to reclaim our democracy because a large number of MPs in the Commons at the moment do not listen to their constituents, even though they say they do. They don't stand up and vote for what they believe in because they're not allowed to because they're bullied by the whips, but there are some who give in and some who don't. And Tracy's one of the ones who will say, no, I will do what I will do. The Common Decency campaign aims to give guidance on all of the UK's candidates before the election. But for now, Tracy Crouch seems happy with the support. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, at the end of the day, politicians do get elected under a party tag and there are very few politicians in the country ever in the history of, this, uh, of the United Kingdom that have been elected as independents. So, you know, you do stand for a political party and actually I agree with most of what it is that my party uh, stands for. But there are certain issues that I do have a different view and animal welfare issues is one of those. Uh, and that's why I've been quite outspoken on issues like the badger cull or fox hunting. Um, and I shall continue to do so. However, while it might have been a day for the Conservatives, they're by no means in for an easy ride, facing stiff competition from UKIP, the Lib Dems and Labour. And you can see a full list of candidates at kentdecides.co.uk. This is Jem Collins in Chatham for KMTV.